tell us first uh, what the <laughs> long-awaited certification of the IFT 540 means to Avidyne. We're thrilled to announce here at the show that we've uh, certified the IFT 540 and deliveries have already started. Uh, that's a real game changer for us as a company. Now we've got a full stack of avionics, audio panel, transponder, the 540 and our autopilot. So customers have more choice in the market and I think that's a good thing. It took a long time though. You're fighting all the usual bureaucracies among other things. But does that damage Avidyne competitively with the fact that there's a fair amount of horsepower elsewhere trying to put out competitive products? We don't think so. I mean, we announced three years ago here at Oshkosh, and we thought we were probably 18 months to two years away, and it ended up taking us about a year, year and a half longer than that. Part of that was bureaucratic slowdown. Some of it was this is just, this stuff's really hard. It's, there's a reason only there's two or three companies trying to do this sort of thing. And we're just thrilled that we came out the other side with a great product, and I think based on the early indicators, the demand is going to be huge here. If you had to encapsulate what brings the IFD 540 to prominence from Avidyne's standpoint, what is it about this particular product that the GA pilot really needs to know? There's really a couple of things. Hybrid touch. We've added touch screen, but we left the knobs and buttons. So, you know, depending on your phase of flight, depending on your comfort level, it's nice to have a knob. It's nice to have a positive detent button to hang on to to push it during turbulence and different phases of flight. If you're on the ground, the touch is really nice. Certain Things like panning the map is really great with touch. We can do pinch zoom because we've got a multi-touch screen. And then the other thing is just our FMSs. We think better than anything else available. You're familiar with the R9 FMS. We've ported that over into a mark width product. So now we can expand the market to all of the aircraft that can't possibly fit an integrated flight deck. Where do you go from here? Well, we've got to finish our IFD 440, which is the smaller version, and we expect that'll be out by the end of the year. Then we're on to other things. We're finishing up our TAS A, which is ADSB, and as Dan talked about, our uh, completing our ADSB strategy. Uh, there was also, a, a, again, a long-awaited announcement on the R9 series. Synthetic Vision has come to the box. Where do you go with the R9 from here? It's not exactly been on the top bubble with all the resources devoted to the 540 cert. So is there a future for R9? As the technology from R9, we ported it over into the 540. As part of the development of the 540, we've added new technologies. We've announced Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, touchscreen. Those are all things that would be great candidates to migrate back into R9. So stay tuned for future announcements. And I think along with Synthetic Vision, we've got a really great platform for the future. In the press conference, Dan had mentioned some issues with the Part 23 rewrite and with Ms. Gilligan having admitted to Congress a few days ago that we're looking at 2017, not 2015, and of course it could be even later. What does that pretend for the industry? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, you know, Avidyne's in the uh, certified avionics uh, business and we're going to continue down that road and and uh, when things change we'll see see where we're at and uh, just play it by ear with that. And But uh, clearly the, there's an aging fleet out there. There's uh, the hull values are, are uh, you know, a lot of airplanes are pretty low and, and the expense of uh, certified avionics is kind of tough for some of those guys. So uh, I think that could open up some, some real opportunities. Thanks much. You're welcome. Aero TV is brought to you by Waco Classic Aircraft now offers the Great Lakes 2T1A2. Inspired by the classic YMF5D, it's smaller but with 180 horsepower, simpler avionics, and fully aerobatic. Waco lets you fly simply for the fun of it. www.wacoaircraft.com The Bendix King KLR-10 Lift Reserve Indicator is now available for certified aircraft. It is an affordable, intuitive device for angle of attack awareness. Mounted on the glare shield, KLR-10 provides visual and audible lift cues while scanning for traffic or monitoring the runway on approach. 